Hey, what's up guys? How you doing today? So, today we're going to look at this uh, Kenmore washer. Old school. And the agitator seems to be okay. But it's leaking. This is some somewhat normal play for a direct drive washer. It's like a self-balancing uh, type of tub. And we look here and we see that the lid switch is good. Normally, you take a screwdriver, you stick it down here, you should hear this click. So, take a screwdriver, stick it down there. You should hear that click, distinctive click. This one here has got the same thing. Distinctive click. If you don't hear that click, that lid switch is bad, then your machine won't work. Okay, let's take a look underneath and see if we can see if there's any leaks. It's probably going to be the water pump. Typically the water pump will leak there in, uh, in the front end of it. If you have like a baker tray, small baker tray, you can stick it in the front, underneath the front here. And catch the drips uh, until you get a new pump. Okay, let's uh, tip it back. Okay, let's take a look. And it looks like the water pump is still good. What we have is this balance spring has broken off. There should be a spring right from here to here. It's a balance spring. Helps the uh, load balance. And uh, it could be that this thing is leaking because the drain is backed up. And it can uh, overflow and look like it's coming from the machine. This is the pressure tube that tells the machine to stop filling and that's all in good shape. No rat holes or anything in it. You look up here, you don't see any cracks in the uh, barrel. And so this one's going to be kind of a mystery. Um, I definitely have to fix this balance spring. It's sitting in the back of the machine. I saw it on the floor when I pulled it out. What I normally do is take a piece of coat hanger wire and wrap it around here. You could theoretically drill another hole right near it. That, that would probably be a fairly easy thing to do. Uh, and I might just do that. Sometimes I'll just wrap a coat hanger wire around it to grab the spring down here. That mount up there that holds the spring is good, still good. And Normally, if your water pump is leaking, you'll see a mineral trail here. I don't see a mineral trail. So this one is going to be a little bit of a mystery leak. And I don't see any mineral trails anywhere else to give us any signs. Hoses look good. This hose typically will crack if you put new drive couplers on and bend this hose too much, but this hose is good. Um, so, it actually could be this machine here that's leaking, but the carpet is not wet here. The carpet is wet over here. And so what happens is if your drain is running slow, it will overflow through there. But that doesn't seem like it would cause it to leak down here on this uh, plywood base. So it's probably gonna not not gonna be this uh, slow drain situation. And I'm gonna have to run a load, unfortunately, to see what uh, exactly where it's leaking from. Okay, luckily I don't have to take this whole thing apart to look under here. We got a couple of little doodads. We got this little step up thing we got we can look underneath i put that spring on i had to uh kind of retrofit that spring back on but if we look up in there kind of right by that spring where that spring mounts where that screw is up there right there you can see it dripping because we don't have any other cracks in the tub anywhere that we can noticeably see it's probably going to be a main seal um and I'm not prepared to do that right now. It's the main seal between the transmission shaft and the barrel. And what I normally do anyway is I just clean them up really good and then goop them up with E6000. And uh, that's what I normally do to fix that. You can see there's a drip getting ready to come off that thing right now up there. 
because it's not leaking from the water pump I don't see anywhere else it's leaking it's probably coming from that main shaft and in order to get to that main shaft all this has to come out the basket the agitator it all has to come out to get the bottom the bottom of the bottom of that area so I can reseal it I'm not doing it today but uh thanks for tuning in and I want to see you guys next time